The News 4 I team has obtained a key document in the billing dispute between the San Antonio Independent School District and AT&T. The phone giant billed SAISD $2.2 million. As Jay Avila recently reported, AT&T said the district failed to cancel phone service at its old headquarters. In this email dated October of 2020, an SAISD official requested AT&T disconnect circuits the district no longer needed. The district argued that this was proof it gave proper notice and was overcharged. SAISD says the email should have canceled service at its old buildings when it moved to the district's new headquarters complex. SAISD requests to disconnect the circuits listed below. Please stop billing and service ASAP, the email reads. Did anyone at the school district drop the ball? To my knowledge, staff has indicated that they provided proper notice, a written notice to, to AT&T that services would no longer be needed. That's what the school district has been telling the I-team ever since we first reported the dispute last summer. But AT&T says it's not so cut and dry. This was not a case where a disconnect request was ignored and SAISD was billed for service it was not using, the communications company said in a statement. When the I-team contacted the company about the email, AT&T said SAISD requested some circuits remain open. Because the new provider was not ready to serve them, SAISD asked that those 10 circuits remain in use. SAISD chose not to renew the contract for those 10 circuits when the contract expired. And as a result, those circuits billed month to month at a non-discounted rate until SAISD requested their disconnection in 2021. Ultimately, AT&T billed the district $2.2 million, just as SAISD was preparing to close 15 schools to cut costs. I pay taxes, and that money should be given to the kids. That's why I pay it, not for them to be paying AT&T. The district reached a settlement agreement with AT&T and reduced the bill to $300,000. But the I-team has learned the district spent much more than that on legal fees, including a lawsuit to prevent you from seeing public records about the dispute. That part of the story coming up tomorrow night. For the News 4 I-team, I'm Jay Avila.